The designer, Mr. Gouge, on the left, tells Mr. Parker, the test pilot, just what the already famous Sterling bomber can do. Oh, yes, he can carry a load of bombs up to about eight tons. Eight tons of bombs. And uh, can it also carry such a load any real distance, uh, to Berlin, for, for instance? Oh, yes, it'd take a very useful load of bombs to Berlin and come back. <laughs> The Sterling, having already proved its great offensive value to the RAF, is being produced in large numbers. And, by the way, with women doing much of the work. Here, men and girls are working on a bomb floor. It's easy to see how the Sterling carries her huge bomb load of eight tons. The bomb cell is over 42 feet long. Grinding an undercarriage leg and testing the undercarriage. The wheels, incidentally, are nearly six feet in diameter to support an aircraft weighing over 30 tons fully loaded. One of the reasons why we have to save all the rubber we can now that Malaya's gone. The tank bay assembly. Here, feminine labor is 100%. It's 75% women in the wing assembly. These girls are all doing work of absolutely first-class quality and importance. Much other work in the construction of this heavy bomber is well within their compass. More women workers are welcome. Men and women go 50-50 in the building of the fuselage, and what a fuselage it is. is pop riveting. Here's that fuselage again. It's so big it has to be built in sections and the joining of the sections is like the shunting of a train. Length of fuselage over 87 feet, the wingspan of the Sterling nearly 100 feet. These figures give some idea of the size of this giant bomber. She is at work in an engine nacelle. The four powerful engines give the Sterling a speed of 300 miles an hour. And this magnificent aircraft, which has a range of over 2,000 miles, is one of Britain's best weapons for hitting back. All honor to the men and women who build, as well as the men who fly, the Sterling bomber. Air Force, continuously increasing its striking power, is making good use of our new giant, the Sterling. Almost every night, these four-engine bombers are taking tremendously heavy loads to Germany. They have a great range, they're fast, and they can defend themselves against enemy fighters by day as well as by night. With a crew of only one more than that of a Wellington, the Sterling can carry a bomb load equal to that of three Wellingtons. Royal Air Force offensive grows in strength. Every time we hear of the previous night's attack, we know that we can thank our squadrons of Sterlings for taking across so many big and beautiful bombs. And here's another story of gallantry, of the spirit that spells defeat for Hitler. The crew of that Sterling is being told that it's the gift of Lady McRobert who has lost her three airmen sons two in combat with the enemy in this war. Her answer is a bomber to strike further powerful blows against that enemy. Let it be used where it is most needed. May good fortune go with those who fly it. I have no more sons to wear the badge or carry it in the fight. You are the crew who have been chosen to fly this Sterling and to carry the McRobert crest. The motto of the McRobert clan is this. Glory is the reward of valor. I know you will live up to it. The McRoberts' reply has already been fulfilling the donor's wish on operational flights over Germany, teaching a barbarian race that no sacrifice is too big a price to pay for freedom. McRoberts' reply is Britain's reply. <laughs>